in the journey of life, it is very crucial that you maintain your lane. Emphasis on your lane, not on other persons. Because a unique God-given assignment has been placed in your hands. An assignment peculiar to you, which can only be accomplished when you remain or persist on your lane. It has been said that if the purpose of something is not known, abuse is inevitable. This is where the power of vision comes in. Vision is the ability to see God's plan for your life. This may come stage by stage or in full. This means you'll be doing various things at given times. Vision helps you remain on the right path. Where there's no vision, remember, there's no guidance, hence the people perish. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verses 2 and 3, says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that read it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. For at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, though it takes a while, wait for it. Because what? It will definitely come. It will no longer tarry. This part of the scripture is quite explicit. Here's the thing. A person without vision lives a haphazard life and derails from their curse. The life of King Saul is a typical example of someone who lost his vision. He was sent to battle and was given specific instructions, but he deviated from his lane because of the people. As a result, he lost divine backing and he became frustrated. He was basically living but dead. It is of great importance to have your vision written down. Because when you have a written vision, one, you have a clear direction on what to run with. And secondly, it serves as a constant reminder, which keeps you away from distractions. This is where a lot of people miss it in life. What are distractions? Distractions are things or even people that take you away from your lane. It influences your vision whether it comes to fruition or not. Distraction is a problem which separates you from your direction and it dissuades your focus. Being distracted varies from either accomplishing everyday goals to a lifetime achievement. Distraction reduces your ability to be useful and productive this means that it makes you channel your skills and your talents into something you were not designed for or something you were not meant to do in the first place. Think of an athlete in a race. If he gets distracted and steps out of his lane into another person's lane, he automatically gets disqualified. Unfortunately, a lot of people are running a disqualified race in the journey of life. The fact that Mr. Smith has attained a certain status that is enviable does not necessarily mean that's the way for you to go. Every path appears to be the right path to walk if you lack vision. Remember, there is only one you and your assignment and purpose is entirely different from Mr. Smith. The Bible says, whatever your hands find to do, do it with all your might. Do it well. Do it with all diligence and passion. Put your heart into it. Do not feel insecure about your vision and talent. Visions will tarry or take some time to come into manifestation, but wait for it. For it will surely come to pass. Meanwhile, be unyielding and unshaken by the distractions around you exercise the fruit of the spirit of patience 
and self-control. Therefore, I encourage you to press on towards your vision and your goal and win the prize to which God has called you. Please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click the notification bell for more videos.